Myth number one is that you will be a millionaire overnight. That is absolutely false unless we are in a bull market. So if the market is hot, popping off like it was between you know, mid 2020 and November 2021, then it's very possible to, that you could have been a millionaire overnight, multi-millionaire, depending on how much you put in. In today's market condition, absolutely not. It's the longer game. There are four year cycles to crypto and crypto investing. And so right now, if you invest thinking that you're going to make a million dollars in one night or even in a week, very slim chance. Myth number two, centralized exchanges like Crypto.com, Kraken, Binance, they are 100% secure. Absolutely not. And here's the thing. I'm not even talking about secure as in can they resist being hacked? That's the number one concern for most people who has ownership over your assets. And there's a great phrase and a common phrase in the crypto space that says, not your keys, not your crypto. So that means as soon as you give custody over your assets to somebody else, like a crypto.com, like a Binance, as soon as you do that, essentially they own your crypto, not you. They can freeze your account. They can suspend your account. They can decide, hey, we're not going to allow you to withdraw for whatever reason. They are a centralized exchange. Someone can make a decision that affects your account. So they are not 100% secure. The best thing is, is to actually take custody yourself and keep your assets in a cold wallet. Myth number three here, this is what I hear all the time, is that all these cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, there's no inherent value. They don't do anything, right? They don't give me cash flow. I'm not owning an asset like a like a residence or anything like that, commercial or residential property. So there's no value to it. Why is that a myth? Well, your currency right now, if you're in the US, US dollar, Canadian dollars, wherever it is, has no inherent value. And actually that's being shown more and more with as inflation is how high it's been going that your dollars are worth less. Why do they have value? Because the network, there's been a an agreement that this currency is actually valuable, right? So it's not like the dollar itself does anything. You don't do anything with it. It doesn't create any any value on its own. So it's the same argument that you could be made for the US dollar that you would say for Bitcoin or otherwise. Here's the thing. As the network grows for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, they will be accepted and more, uh, more readily accepted and there'll be a mass adoption or wider adoption of it which will give it even more value. And now you're having the same principles that the inherent value is actually in the network itself versus what it actually produces as a company or as a, as a property. Okay. Myth number four is that it's the entire space. As soon as you say crypto is a scam and it's illegal. All right. That needs to be eradicated immediately. All right. Not everything is a scam. Are there scams in the crypto space? Absolutely. But just like there's scams in the stock market, scams when it comes to real estate, it does not matter. Wherever there is money, opportunity, or investments involved, there are those who want to take advantage and do horrible things. That's not only in the crypto space, that's across the board. But here being a very new space, it just gets, one, it gets hyped up more, but two, Sometimes it's much more difficult to do due diligence on certain projects because it is such a new space. So not everything is a scam by any means. There are some, but you have to find a way to do due diligence. And I, I've shared my five truths or five T's in the past before about how I go about assessing these projects. And uh, I'll, I'll pop it up somewhere in here where you can link and take a look. Myth number five here is this one I've heard a lot before in the beginning, especially when it came to Bitcoin, was that they tr those who are against it or don't quote unquote believe in Bitcoin say, well, this is the, the, the fallacy here is the fact that you guys are trying to be anonymous and a public ledger at the same time. Like, how does that even work? And here's the thing. No one's saying you are anonymous. Okay. Now, nobody knows your personal information right out the gate. Unless, of course, you're going through the centralized exchange, which they do. They will know your personal information. But let's say you remove them and you're just going from blockchain 
uh, based on the blockchain and be like, well, my name's not there, so I'm anonymous. That's not the case because your wallet address can be tracked. Now it's more, you know, it's, it's more involved and you have to kind of really do some detective work to figure it out, but you can t track, you know, hey, look, this is this address has collected this and then has spent over here in these times and then they can kind of track it back and essentially if it goes back to an centralized exchange they can really find out who that wallet belongs to so it's not really about being anonymous and that's why when people say that crypto is a scam it's funny right because everything is on the blockchain it's a public ledger you see everything transparently that does not happen anywhere else stock market real estate doesn't exist in terms of that level of transparency so we're not it's not about being anonymous it's about things being on a public ledger where you can track if necessary but the information isn't readily available where you think you can just everyone can just see hey this is your name this is your address and all your information it doesn't work like that it's based on wallet address so i want to make that clear okay it's not about being anonymous and trying to reconcile being anonymous and a public ledger at the same time so number six here will be that crypto is only for the young and those who love risk <clears throat> now don't get me wrong the young are more likely to jump in this new space only because they have less fear maybe they have less baggage in terms of poor investments in the past are now not affecting them here in the future but here's the thing is that not everything in the crypto space is as risky as you think. When I look at it, Bitcoin and ETH pretty safe, especially Bitcoin. And that would be, you know, if you think that, then look at the stock market where certain shares are down or certain stock prices are down from 60 to 90 percent. Some even more. Right. It just depends on do you do the work? Do you pick the quality projects or are you really betting on the highly speculative assets? That's where your work comes into play. So to label the entire industry as risky or just for the young is a poor picture. And that's a big myth that I want to dispel. It is for everybody and it's for everyone who wants to do the work or at least pay attention to those of us who do and kind of take some advice and move from there. So number seven here, the last one that I want to cover here is you need to know how to read a stock chart or a price chart okay anytime i listen to these you know they call them tas or technical analysts and don't get me wrong they have their place they have a wealth of knowledge and they do some great things but if you are a long-term investor you never have to look at a chart now then when i say chart it just means it tracks the price of um, whatever asset you're looking at and some will say this is a good time to buy some will say it's a good time to sell just gives you some indi indicators and and it is but it's a part of the bigger picture and if you're a long-term investor and you're in the fundamentals uh, meaning the actual workings of the project itself or the protocol then you don't care right the only time you care is when the price dips so that you can buy more of it if it's something that you think has promise and you know is is legitimate behind the scenes so you don't need to know how to read a chart you don't need to be a day trader no you do not need to know what a chart looks like you don't need to know how the chart works you don't need any of that to make long-term investment decisions